In this video, we're going to go over how to make an organizer like this one. And it's a laser cut box that allows you just to put some stuff in, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. That's basically the finished article. It's just a laser cut piece that all clips together. And you can put pieces in here. And there are a couple of um, separate slots in the back for you to keep stuff. So if you're like me, you have loads of stuff on your desk, you just want to put it somewhere where you can grab it easily. That's what this does. So before we do that, let's go through what version I'm using here. It is the FreeCAD um, 0.22 dev version. It's 38375 git. It's one of the later ones from this week. Uh, but again, they're, they're probably moving up in the number um, fairly rapidly. So feel free to uh, have a later version than that. But this is going to be the new free CAD. So this is the one, this is the um, candidate to become version one. So um, one thing you should know when you're creating these laser pieces, they do come out flat like this. And what you're really making are these SVGs on the back here, which is your laser shapes. So if I take out um, the actual pieces, if I turn those off, you'll see that the shapes that we have are all like this. And I'm using my Monport laser, um, as you saw in the picture there. This is my Mon Monport laser, which is a fantastic machine. Um, I love using it, and we'll go through, I'll show you some video of making this part and how we design these laser cut pieces. So I'm not going to uh, model the entire product here so you, it's pretty straightforward there's a base that's a certain size and then the back of it and if you look at the way it's sitting on there the back is sitting in from the edge of the base and then the front part similar then there's a middle divider which sits similarly and then there's a left side sits outside of those pieces and then there's a right side which is basically the same thing there's the top that has all the holes in it and then there's one more piece which is a divider in this slot here so it's a back divider and they're all just sitting in position they're all just modeled in position so that the laser cut workbench can put in the correct tabs and that's the bit I'm going to show you I'm going to go through how do we get those laser cut pieces in there so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the um, laser cut interlocking and then what we're going to do is we are going to create tabs so you do that with this um, the slots or the cross piece buttons here and what we're going to do is if we're going to create slots so we're going to so once we have this piece now what I want to do is I want to take that back divider and I want to put the um, slots on there so I'm going to hit the slots and I'm going to add that part uh, for this piece and I'm going to add this pad So the pad is where the slots are going to go, not the body. So we need to have the, the pad in there. Then I'm going to turn off. And that can be a little confusing, so I want, I want to make sure we we'll do that a couple of times, so I'll show you how that works. Turn off all those parts. I can zoom in here, select that face, just the face like that, add faces, and 
select this face down here add faces and then select this face down here sometimes if you zoom in closer it's easier to select the face otherwise it selects it's, it's selecting edges um, if you just zoom in is the quickest way to do it so I've added this face this face this face those are all the joining faces so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if I create tabs on here so first thing we need to do is decide how many tabs we want so I think on here we could have two tabs on each face would be great and the width of the tabs is going to be 10 and we don't need a dog bone hole so that's good we will add the other faces that we want on there so the first one we want is our base so we're going to add that and we're going to add the back like that and then we're going to add the middle divider so those are the only three parts that it actually connects to so I'm going to say preview that if we go down here there it is so now we can see that it has connected that to those parts I see what I did wrong so just bear with me get rid of that I'm just going to delete that whole preview I don't discard it I don't need any of that so the slots or the tabs are per face so I put two on this face on face two I left it at one so I want to go two and two now actually maybe on phase two we'll just leave that as one slot one tab so we got this is phase two so we got one tab two tabs two tabs and then for each of these if you look you have a, a thickness for the material so my material is actually five millimeters so i leave that alone nothing to do there you have a slot width tolerance um, the laser beam diameter all of those defaults worked out well for me um, so now if I preview that we'll get to see you got two tabs two tabs one tab in the bottom so now that part is tabbed in there and if I one thing I like to do when I do this is I'm going to turn off that part turn off that part and make sure there are holes so that's good now I'm going to turn off that that and that turn back on this one and make sure there are slots and if I turn off that one and turn on that one see the back divider the the body didn't get the tabs on it so we definitely don't want that body there so we're not going to be using that at all so I can just delete it and then my my pad is this part so what it's done is it's taken my pad the way I designed it was this shape here it's added these features on so that now I have um, I have these small tabs on here and it's removed the same areas on the mating parts so now if we wanted to if we want to make that if we want to actually cut it on the laser cutter we need a drawing of the outside and again I'm not going to do all the parts because there's no need you'll you see how it works um, I'll go through one more time if you like I'll go back and redo but then once you get to here I think I have to say okay to that first there we go then we can export it and there's the parts and there's the drawings so now I have this export shape. It has these parts in it. I don't need those parts. So I'm going to actually take them out. And there's the laser cone. So if I could cut all that in one go from one sheet, I can certainly do that. But the easiest way is to take each of these and export them so if I go file and export I'm going to export that to 
a plain SVG. There it is there, flattened SVG. Export that shape. And at this point, I want to give the shape the right name. So I would call it back divider is what that piece is. And then I'm going to save that in my desk organizer file. And you can see I already have it there. So I'm going to save it as back divider two. Save that. And of course you would do it for each piece and you can see I already did it for each piece. So now let's look at light burn and I'll show you how we do it from there. So we're going to go into light burn and we'll just import that. So literally the piece I just made was in here and it's back divider two SVG, open that. Then I can position it in my laser where I want it. I usually cut, I start up here in this corner. I go in here and that's my laser cut file. All I do now is connect this to my laser and then we can burn this shape and I'll show you how that looks and then we'll go from there. So that's the finished box. Full disclosure, I modified the box to make the holes deeper so it would be more useful. So generally you can make any shape box you like and using the laser cut interlocking workbench you can create the tabs and slots. You decide how many you want, where you want them and what the spacings are and you make the box from there. I've found it very easy. It's a little bit of a long process so you you model the box you want first then you're going to create all these tabs and slots then you're going to export um, the actual SVG to your laser cutter but other than that it's really good so if you've enjoyed the video feel free to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that because subscribing is free it doesn't cost you anything and then you'll know when the next video is coming out um, and then if you want to join my uh, Patreon, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want to buy me a coffee, I'd be more than grateful. And if you want to just become a member of the YouTube channel, you can do that too. So I appreciate you uh, taking a look at the video. If you have ideas, thoughts, or uh, something you want to see specifically, feel free to let me know. One of the reasons I did this with the laser cut was I wanted to test it with version 0.22 and everything works just as you would expect it to. It's uh, very solid, uh, works very predictably, and you end up with some great results. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.